Okay, here's everything we need to make us a soda bottle gas tank. We've got our soda bottle, which I'd rather have a Fiji water bottle because they're square. And some Dubro fuel barbs, an Ernst super stopper, and a clunk. Okay, we're going to use our front cap as a drill guide to drill our bottle cap. We're just going to take it, drop it right down inside the cap there, and it fits perfectly. Push it down there, it fits perfectly inside that lip of the bottle. Okay, now we're going to assemble our cap. We've got our backer on it, stopper, our vent and fill lines. We'll put those right inside of our cap. That rubber lip is going to go right inside the ring on the inner part of the cap. This is our front piece. We'll put it on. Okay, so now we've, we've got that all pushed up together there. We'll put our screw in the front. Engage with the backer, and you can see there it pull it all down, and that pulls it down tight inside that lip there. Just a little bit here, it'd be sticking out. Push that down inside the lip of the pop bottle. That makes for a very, very tight seal. We're just going to finish up our little bit by hand. Looks really good. Looks good there. So now we're going to test fit our cap here. Our pickup line. Looks really good. Okay, so we'll just take this piece of tube in here, eyeball it to start off with. We may have to adjust it a little bit. Cut this piece of tubing. I'm sure, we'll have to stretch it out to get it on that clunk line. Okay, now we've got our clunk on there. like be a tad long there so we're just going to pressure tubing up through there a little bit further it's looking pretty good let's give it a trial fit here there we go and let's take this label off so we can see everything good there we go. I think this little gas on it, that line will straighten out. That should be great. There we go. We've got our assembled soda bottle fuel tank all ready to go. Put in our plane. Okay, so we can do a quick pressure test on our fuel tank here. We'll just put a loop of line between the vent and the pickup. Spray a little Windex on it. Give it a good squeeze. And you can see there, we got zero bubbles coming out of anything. You can squeeze that baby. And we've got a good seal. She's ready to go. All right, we're going to install our soda bottle tank in this yak. We'll take a piece of this white Dubro foam. We'll put that first on our platform here, which is right on the CG. Our tank will sit on it. And when you put a tank against this white foam, it really grips it and doesn't go anywhere. So you don't need any Velcro or anything on the bottom. And then our Velcro straps 
we're going to strap around the tank and hold it down and this will keep from transmitting any vibration into our tank and making our fuel foam up. We're going to put a little bit of CA on this foam here and that will make it stick really good to the wood there so it won't go anywhere. Stick that down. Okay, so now we'll put us on our Velcro strap. Not super tight as to take all the compression out of our white foam. There we go, now our tank's down. All right, there's our fuel tank. It's all installed. Strap down good. It's got white foam rubber underneath it. It's ready to go. All right, so there's our finished tank. We're filling it up with some gas. It'll fill right up to the overflow there. And we're going to stop it to keep it from running out all over the floor.